Now, I will explain you about different parts of a computer. Tina, which body part helps you to write, hold things and eat? Hand study. The same way, keyboard helps to type letters, numbers and also gives different instructions to the computer. The keyboard has many keys on it. On each and every key, there is an alphabet or a number printed. Using those keys, you can type on the computer. Hey, look, Daddy. The cat is holding something. It's a mouse, dear. Oh, no, I'm afraid. No, Tina, it is not the mouse what you're thinking of. It is a computer mouse. Yes, a mouse is a pointing device. It points to various objects on the computer. We can select things on the screen and using the mouse. A mouse is easy to use and it increases the speed of working and it also reduces the task of remembering the commands. You have different parts of a mouse. This is the left button and this is the right button. This is the palm rest and this is the scroll button. You click on the left button then it is called a left click. When you click on the right button then it is called as a right click. To choose an object on the screen, you left click or double click the left button. And if you want to choose a drop down menu, an option from a drop down menu, you right click. And then this is the palm rest area where you can rest your palm. And with the help of the scroll button, you can scroll your screen up and down on the monitor. These are all the different parts of a mouse. The screen of the computer looks just like a TV. Yes, Tina, it is called as a monitor. A monitor displays whatever we type. It has an on and off button. It is also known as VDU, visual display unit. Daddy, I want to show my computer to all my friends. I would like to invite them to our house, but I don't remember their contacts. I need to find a solution for that. Yes, Tina, there is a solution. A computer can store all the data in its CPU. Really? Yes. CPU is the brain of the computer. CPU means Central Processing Unit. CPU processes and performs various operations and stores the data and information for us. Daddy, now I want to switch on my computer and work on it. Let's do it, Tina. The process of switching on the computer is called as booting. To switch on the computer, switch on the main power switch, then press the on off button on the CPU. Now press the on off button on the monitor. The computer starts for us. After we complete working on our system, we need to shut down our system. The process of switching off the computer is called as shutting down. So, to shut down our computer, click on the start button and choose the shutdown option and then turn off the power supply. These are the steps to start your computer and to off your computer. You have to follow these steps right in a right way so that your computer will not get spoiled. So, 
do subscribe and like my videos.